There we go. Let the hunt begin. Let the hunt begin. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Cash, and we are here with Nadine. Now, what's crazy is that this character is about as uh, basic as a bowl of oatmeal, but I love, love, love a nice range DPS character. Now, it's funny, I'll, I'll show for two seconds. I thought it would be my girl, Rozzy. I don't know why I, I played her and I just, it just it did, we didn't mesh well, we didn't get along. Uh, but playing Nadine, uh, it definitely felt it. Say it again, you know, say it two times. Every time I, I click on T, you could say it. Uh, I really, really mesh well with this character. Now, there are two ways to play her. I'm only gonna be showing the way that I like, and that's going to be attack speed. Uh, and I like to auto-click, auto-click, click, 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 click. I love that yet, all right? So I like to be able to, to, to multiply hit someone and just kind of like sit there if they're not really kiting, and then maybe I'll try to kite a little bit. But I love that. I, and I think that you saw a little bit with Alex, you know, he has a little bit more moves to do, but this is even more barrier based. <laughs> like if you get enough attack speed and crit crit damage and obviously some attack power, you usually don't really need the move unless they're like jumping on you, which she does have some tools. So let's first go over, I'm gonna go with her passive first, and that is actually, she actually gains a stack of wild. <laughs> <laughs> for every wild animal she slays wild animals located in, inside a certain range near will be will appear on her mini map different animals grant different stack amounts so the bigger the baddie the better the bank thing so obviously when you get a chance to you're going to you know farm creeps as much as you can and it just helps her out it, i think if i remember correctly from a guide that i was watching i think it just helps her q and her r so let's go with the q which is her main ability and the main thing you will be maxing first as you can see it's just a big charge up uh, skill and it does more damage the longer you hold it so and it also has more range it does a good chunk of damage now the other way to play her by the way is that you pretty much rely on the q it's a skill amp or a skill yeah skill amplification build where your q is your main dps the only other skill that she has that does damage is going to be the w the squirrel traps as you can see she could throw one or she could throw two you can actually mash it and then it makes a line if they run by the line they get slowed you you could as you can see hold on i'll wait until it resets her range of it okay it doesn't show you how far she can throw it but they're not too pretty much what i'm trying to say is that you can't really throw it in front of your opponent you have to throw it like they have to be chasing you or you have to be really close to them or if they're on top of you you throw it in front of you and then walk to, uh walk in front of it so then you get the slope not that crazy of a move it's not something that you're super relying on then we have the monkey wire which is her escape tool and her traverse skill is allows her to go over certain walls and things of that nature kind of i really like characters that have this like things like that what's also nice is that while installed and she's attached to it her attack speed increases now i'm assuming what that means and i've kind of been playing around with it not not completely is that while she has it out as soon as you actually press e again and then reactivate it you dash and then you don't get the attack speed anymore so you're supposed to pretty much like throw it out and then you know murder something and then dash or if you are in trouble you just ee and then you're out of there next up is her wolf assault which is the worst such a weird ultimate i when i first saw it actually what made me not want to pick her because i was like wait her ultimate is that a wolf comes out i didn't read it the scale i just looked at the at the actual image and i thought it was the most trashest thing i've ever seen in my life but she summons a wolf every few basic attacks the wolf uh, attacks them, deals damage, and slows them, which is kind of the most important part. Reducing the attack speed, it depends on who you're hitting. Uh, and Nadine deals more damage the more wild stack she has. They tell you on the R, but I think it also affects the Q as well. The most important thing, I think, is the, the slow on the attack speed and the movement speed. Allows you to either help you kite them if they're in your face, or if you start hitting them, you just pop the R, and they can't get away from you, which is really important. And then the D, I think we're gonna be using this, so we'll have the rain of arrows. You pop it, it has a long, pretty much long delay. It hits them, does it slow? Yes, it does slow. And if they're in the more of the center, they take more damage. It's just like, this one has a lot more range. I actually think that they should have showcased like that you could pretty much be like back over here and do it. Like you could really throw it ahead of you. And if they get hit, they get slowed. And then of course, with everything else you can do it. I actually don't even know what the crossbow is. Oh yeah, the crossbow is that really wide shot. Yeah, hit them against the wall. I I'm not doing any crossbow nonsense here. I'm just gonna be using Using the bow and we're gonna get popping so hopefully you guys enjoy uh, some Nadine I'm just gonna do one gameplay no matter how good or bad it is uh, I should at least be able to show you uh, a decent something this is the build that I did the best with when I was playing I was playing in duos though uh, as you can see here it's uh, archer uh, archery range start up here go into hotel teleport into the hospital hospital into pond and and then into Avenue it's not that long of a route even though it is five uh, it does do really well you have pretty much everything that you need 
attack power, uh, some skill amp, some more attack speed and crit chance. This one's attack speed, movement speed, attack speed, attack power, movement speed, and then some life steal as well, and some defense against basic attacks that they get onto you. If you fight against a mage, you're pretty much screwed anyway. She is a relatively squishy character. Uh, what we also will be trying to do is if you know if something crazy happens, you know, you know, we get some tree of life or some meteorites, we'll be looking for a transition into that as well. So. Let's see how we maneuver the map. This is going to be a, a full thing. I don't have time to really edit this. Uh, and I haven't done this. Usually, I always say it. I edit it out. But I always say I'm going to um, do a full playthrough and just have you guys see everything. And then I edit the hell out of it. And But this time, I actually don't have the time to do so. So what I'm going to be doing is trying to talk through the entire time. And hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> you know, it won't be too, too bad. So you guys will see a full gameplay for once in my life i know i i just the the farming aspects of it the farming parts uh i think that from a viewing standpoint is boring but at the same time i know that for someone a lot of the people that do watch my videos for that come from other things they don't know what i'm doing i just keep skipping through it and then they'll play and they'll be like wait where's the big power spike or whatever that that i saw i thought that that was part of it it's like no no that's not part of it that's i just skipped like two three minutes of me farming and uh you know and it also I feel like helps like oh I didn't I'm stuck in this area or maybe I should leave this area I, I think commentary helps and that's kind of why I always hated non commentary channels <laughs> when they don't tell you what they're doing only one other person in here try to click these I'm getting better at that I'm trying to click the, the the yellows the thing that you need because it's just quicker I'm not I do need stone it says down here that I need stone oh I, 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 I usually don't talk I. Uh, I try not to get them until I absolutely need to, uh, if that makes any sense. And I'm also going to try to path towards my next area. We know where they're going to the hotel. The hotel is uh, down to, towards that direction. And I'm looking for one more bottle. That's what I'm looking for. Now, there are certain places, certain of these things, I think that... Um, I feel like going there. Did we get lucky? Lucky? No. No. I could be using my E to traverse, but... Okay, now we're good. I usually like to use it to diverse once I know where I'm going. As you can see, that's the E right there. I'm not going to bother hitting him because it's a waste of my time. He might hit me, though, because some people still have the misconception. Okay, no, he's not. All right, going to keep collecting. So he needed that, so he's doing that, too. So he's really quick hitting. Uh, we need one more thing, a piano wire. Before I start crafting or anything like that. I actually can make my purple weapon right now if I really wanted to. Alright, now we're good. I'm going to just craft these. Be because I want to go into the thing. And get my weapon. Open up all these slots. So within the second area, I do have my purple weapon, which is fantastic. So now I got my purple weapon. I'm going to still be maxing the Q over to the hospital. And again, we're going to try to rotate towards the pond if we can. Now, now that I have my purple weapon, I want to start farming stuff if I can. If I see it, I will hit it. As long as it gives me... And as long as it's going to give me uh, leather, I'm going to I'm gonna kill it. And you see that those uh, wolves are going to be spawning over here. We're going to not wait here. I actually can just pick this up, the stones. We do need stones. So pick this up, and then we're going to kill these both these wolves. Use this. Got the whip. All right, good. Give you that. And that's all the leather I need. Level up the passive. Uh, we can craft a lot of stuff, but we want to keep moving. I've been learning this too. Like you definitely want to keep moving, uh, especially in the earlier areas, because you want to be able to rotate uh, to other things as well. I put a ward down, so I'm just constantly moving. See, someone hit this area hard. They hit this area hard. That's why we're not finding many things. So, I don't need any more of that. There could be chickens here. They could have killed them already. I could also use the teleporter here, but I'm already close to Pawn. So, hopefully, we're going to do this little rotation. Oh, looks like I need to craft. I'm going to put my cursor here. So, as soon as this lights up, I can just grab it. Since we're already stuck here, I'm going to craft a little bit more. We are looking for feathers, which are I know are usually in here. But I think, I think someone else came in this area, and they already needed feathers. So... What this kind of means is that I should be checking the console. There goes the glue. And maybe I need to go to another area. I don't want to stay here too long. Because I'm finding no feathers. Now, feathers could drop also from these things. I don't know. Uh, and this is where I feel weird, honestly. Uh, 
Because I don't know how long I should stay in this area. And then usually you'll find someone that's going to come kill me. Uh, I, I'm going to do what I feel like I shouldn't be doing. But I'm going to actually check a little bit more things. And then I'm going to check the console to see if it's actually worth it. There is someone here in this area, though. I'm going to ward this. And there's someone, like, in here. A little bit down. A little bit down. So there's one more feather. So I'm going to deem that as a reason not to stay here. And then I'm going to have to... I, I should have followed my instincts. I wasn't finding it out of all the ones that I hit. So I need three feathers, right? So when it comes down to it, I can go to the cemetery for feathers and we can hope that, that we get that. But I don't want to delay my build any more longer than I did. That was a detour that I probably shouldn't have taken. So we're going to go... Are the bears up? They are up. See, look, this guy's level 8 already and he might try to fight me. I messed that up. Yep. Yep. My fault. And that's a good example. I'm going to do another uh, game, but that's another good example of what happens. And I think that that's important to show is because I stayed there. I would have been in the pond. I, I possibly could have got everything I wanted in the pond. I could have went up to Avenue and then I could have teleported over to like the next area and I would have been fine. Instead, I stayed there waiting long enough and then I had him. I duped him and then I also stayed there a little bit too long. And then this is a great thing to show also. Uh, and then I'm going to edit until when I, I get into that same area. Uh, but look at this. So at the same time, I think I'm pretty sure and anyone can correct me at the same time while I was still, uh, we can go down here, right? I had only the purple weapon and a bunch of greens. There's someone, people that had full purples, uh, uh, almost full purple. He, this levels up by itself, almost full purple plus a radar. And like, you have to be very mindful of certain stuff like this. And that that's really going to like hinder you. I think this is the guy that killed me. So he had uh four, five purples and he probably, you can click on people and you can probably say, Oh, this guy's not ready. I was seven. He was six. I had more technical damage, but he hit me with that move. And then it was pretty much over. So like you have to definitely pick your your battles there like it they, like me looking for the feathers i was i literally stayed in there for feathers there was only one once i checked the console so if i get the feeling after i'm doing my route and i don't find what i need i'm gonna just get it later uh potentially we gotta make better decisions all right we are now back in this area this is um we're here much quicker uh, i'll tell you that much much quicker we're getting feathers this time and we're not staying around we have our purple weapon, same as before. Take I'll come back that way. Over there. Oh, I need to craft. This was pretty easy. Not too bad. Now I think that the most of the feathers, if I'm trying to use my memory straight, is that most of the feathers are up in this area. I, I really want to finish my boots uh, because it allows me to obviously to move quicker. I get to use what I learned in the forest. So I think the what feathers are happen? mostly up here. See like, and this is the whole thing that we did before. Now I know that I got here really early so there should be a decent amount of them and I'm still missing uh, the scissors. So. Watch your Unnecessary sacrifice. Let's use this as it is. This was pretty easy. So I need the stones. I'm gonna what teleport over happen? here, get the scissors. Now I'm gonna leave this time. Okay, I got one. Maybe here, and then I'll get the thing. I'll get the stones here. Okay, no, I can't. This was pretty easy. I can't take too many. I know you can't. Too much weight. That gives me this. Probably should have just finished the other thing. I made it quite well, if I say so myself. So we're gonna. I'm actually gonna opt to leave here, and then we're gonna do something different. We're gonna like be in this area, especially if it's po possible that a Luke is like in this area at the same time. Definitely don't want to be around. We can get a hopefully a feather later from another area. My will pierce uh. Meteorites are annoying to get. 
I need one more. Oh, got someone. I'd like to see them get caught in it. Over there. Okay, that's that Sylvia person. Unnecessary sacrifice. She can uh, escape my fights really easy. By just going on a motorcycle. I blew my ult. I didn't know who it was, so. This turned out great. This is pretty great. Now, someone is fighting there. I could try to fight them. I'm gonna shoot that there. Ah. This is for my survival. Someone. What are you doing? Why? Go. I'd like to see them get caught. I don't know what she's doing. I guess I was more of a herbivore than a But I should have probably got away. But at least we saw a little bit different. It wasn't like crazy different. Damn. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, but she hit me against the wall. I probably should have just ran and finished out my build, and then maybe I could have fought her a little bit better later in the game. Oh, boy. One more time, one more time. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, what happened to my mana? Oh, jeez. What does it have in it? Take aim at the target. All right, so we're here again. Sorry, my friend. I hate hospitals. I do too. Alright, so we're here again. Hopefully to put on a better showcase. We need to get to these. I think that's the last. No, I need two more of these. Hopefully those chickens will give me one. Well, the chickens will give me, like, hopefully I'm saying like a feather. What does it have in it? That's the last feather I need. I want to test this out. Not too bad. Alright. Shut up. Shut up. You just don't even say anything. Alright, we got the boots now. And there are, I already see that there's fighting in pawns, so this video might end the same exact way it did before. So, yeah, they already got all the chickens. That person's teleporting away. Just, yeah, please don't fight me. I want to showcase that I know what I'm talking about. So we're coming to this area late. I feel like I feel like Pawn is Jesus Lord. Okay, she's here. She might hit me on a wall. Yep. That's why I was trying to avoid the wall, but she dashed in a good position and then hit me. I, I don't have the time, unfortunately. To, uh, 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 can I get one decent game, man? All right, last time, last nice time. To get up. This was pretty easy. You know what I'm realizing? Cause a wild animal, you hate to see it. I think what's happening is that I'm fighting a little bit too early, and I don't really need to be fighting at all. Cause this character might be. I mean. Why? Go. If I would have died to this guy, I think I'd quit. You know, just quit the game. What does it have in it? This as it is. One less target on the island. This is pretty great. Watch. Done setting up. Over there. Easier. Now, I don't know what's going on here. But I'll take it. One less target on the island. Take aim. Fight. It's the most effective hunting method. Uh. Not 
too bad. Got my boots now. I need this food actually. What I learned in the forest. Oh god, that's not what I wanted to do. That stupid watch. Need a glass bottle we'll get in the next area. Okay. Alright, we still need some stuff in this area. Uh, probably should hit the console. A suspicious smell coming from this. Now, again, we, we started fighting again. I don't know. It's like I don't learn my lesson, really. But, like, I'm definitely in the a risk of, it's humid and you know, someone coming out and getting me. Because I, I took too long. I fought too many things. Um, we need those two things. I feel like those things are usually on the bridge part of the pond. Alright. Oh, no. We got it. Let's use this as it is. This is pretty great. Alright, so now we're in Avenue, which is where we end off. So we at least get to see me with everything. We're looking for the bottle. That's the only thing that we need here because we luckily got some off of the, uh, off that, what's it called, off the bear. So it was a little bit lucky of us. We're only sitting at 32 stacks, so my next objective is going to really be to farm like crazy i really should be taking these uh this these uh cameras i'm gonna use this so i can see there's a person up there there's 14 bottles here it's the most effective hunting method where to I didn't feel like uh, going full hard engaged, even though that was the Kathy. Alright, so we're done. My next fight will be significantly better in my favor. Not too bad. Now, I don't know how we don't have this, even though we hit every area. I might have utilized this something accidentally. Secret. Oh, I just need a... Uh, need to kill one more thing. Watch your Song, my friend. And of course, they don't have what I'm looking for. Why don't I need that? I don't, I, I, that's like a visual glitch that I hate. There's usually a dog here. No? One less target on the island. I'd like to see them being locked in the wild. Go. Person. Uh, I think actually was, what happened... Oh, God, I don't need that. What happened was, um... No, I need the chicken. The, the chicken? The, the chicken. The chicken? The one less target on the island. I don't even know how to do this. The chicken? The chicken. There we go. There we go. That gives me my last little item there. Alright, so now we're done. So now it's literally just farming. And that's kind of like what she's supposed to do. Uh, just sit here and then farm out, get as many stacks as possible so I can just become this beast. And unfortunately, without a, um, without, what are they saying? What am I trying to say? Without, like, a, someone to protect me? Oh my god. <laughs> like that? Uh, motor? I don't know what I could do with that, but... What does it have in it? Nice, we got a thing. So at least you guys can see somewhat, like this is the build, and then... Oh, it's in the other section. So just sit there, there's someone here. I'd like to see them get caught in it. I don't know what he was doing. I'll take this though. Uh, I already have a radar. So, zip down this alley. This is the other person ran because he's too low health. So, thank God. I actually, I'll, I'll be, I'll keep it honest with you guys because you guys deserve the honesty. What I was going to do, I was going to um, just take a clip of when I was actually doing good with the character. And it's not like to hide the loss. I probably would have still shown them in like a short span. But just to showcase... Um, like, I want to show you guys the character doing something. Like, not just because I'm bad and 
and then like if it, in my opinion it doesn't really help out when you guys are looking it's like oh how good is this character so yeah after you do the q you level up the e because of the attack speed but that's the thing is like i'm really good I, when i press e i usually want to press it again so that's usually like one of my issues now what i really should be doing is going to something that's going to give me a lot of uh, like possibly this tree of life over here maybe we'll go to this avenue we'll go get this tree of life and then maybe see if we can make a tree of life item Take aim at the Load and I, was like, I don't know if that's gonna hit me but it did all right hmm. I can still where's that smell people here. Found you. where to with me. slow him Got him. I don't have anything else. Oh, got him. Sorry, my friend. Jesus. That sucks. My scent will be masked by the humidity of this place. So we're just gonna keep moving forward. Okay, I think it's up here. Yeah. Just keep farming. Keep my stuff up. Uh, we got the tree of life that's well, over there. If it disappears, then we know why. Some snow, yeah. Make some steak. Get this shit out of there. I don't even know what this does. Oh. Well, <laughs> she's a melee, and I, I, I was like in her face, and I should have maybe tried to do a little bit more kiting. Damn. And I think I would have done better, obviously there also if I had my alt up, but I didn't get the other character. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's like so frustrating. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was um, it was a uh, pretty fun. You can see how good she gets. And like I said, she's pretty basic. Like there is, like I said, and I think I would have done. Uh, I think arguably worse if I was using the skill amp build because I think then you're just kind of relying on the cues. And then like once you let that cue go, there's really nothing else. You have to just keep hitting them. You do have low cooldowns, but I feel like it's. It's too reliant, and then, you know, a lot of people have jumps and scoops and dupes. Like this character, jump and scoop, and then actually she would have been hard for me to fight because she could just dodge my autos. But I think that showcasing that and showing what she is a little bit late game, you can start getting a couple autos, and then have to you have to do a little bit more kiting and making sure that the any of the melee characters stay away from you. You have to use the E, which I think what I'm supposed to do is that I'm supposed to like kite around it and then dash to the E when uh, when I can or when I need to and then avoid damage while using the alt to slow them. It's, it's, it's a little bit more, uh, it, it becomes more complex, I think, but I do like that build a lot more. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and just remember that every day at the Cashew News, you lucky day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.